three, two, one. Oh, that was loud. Hey guys, and welcome back to the YouTube channel, Platinum Star 95. Uh, we're back again with another LEGO review. I say back again, uh, we've been away for quite a while. It's been a while since I've uploaded, but I'm back with my thoughts on LEGO. Obviously, I'm a massive fan of LEGO Marvel, as you can probably tell all my videos about LEGO Marvel, and today's no different. We're doing a LEGO Marvel Spider-Man Far From Home set, set number 76130, Stark Jet and Drone Attack. Um, this set got a lot of hate when it was released. I noticed a lot of YouTube reviewers generally looking uh, quite negatively on this, and uh, I'm here to find out if that's actually true. Let's get into it. Right guys, here we are actually taking a look at the set. We'll probably start off with the minifigures, but before we do, I'll just give you some information. This set actually retailed for £55, and it contains 504 pieces. Well, 55 British pounds. I don't know what that is in dollars, but hey-ho. We'll start with the minifigures. So these are the minifigures you get. I'll take them off one by one for you to have a look at them. Uh, we're starting with Spider-Man. Now, this Spider-Man is 100% an upgrade on the Spider-Man from the Ultimate Spider-Man series, which is pretty basic from what I remember. Um, and this one's got lovely detailing on the leg, lovely detailing on the torso and arm printing, which is, you know, as we all know as Lego fans, it's quite rare. Back printing, dual moulded legs, which is awesome. And yeah, just a lovely Spider-Man. Probably the best Spider-Man bar, maybe the Iron Spider. Hang on, I'll get the Iron Spider for comparison. Okay, guys, so this is the Iron Spider in comparison to this Spider-Man from uh, the Far From Home series. And this is from the Infinity War line, I believe. Now, this personally is my favourite Spider-Man minifigure ever. But this might be a close second, you know. Um, you know, I like the Night Monkey one. But I think this one is pretty handy. Okay, we'll move on to the other minifigures now. Okay, guys, so here we've got the only ever minifigure of Happy Hogan, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, it's nothing special, but it's a, it's a lovely minifigure to have, also because of Jon Favreau, who, if you didn't know, is actually behind a lot of the Marvel movies and also is currently a director or producer, one of the two, on The Mandalorian as well. And, uh, yeah, there's not much too much to say about this minifigure. I mean, it looks nice, obviously. I mean, obviously, Jon Favreau or Happy Hogan's a, a little bit uh, more rotund than this, but I like it, and it does make sense with this set, actually. So, yeah, just another nice minifigure, really. And now we've got the minifigure that's included in all three of the Spider-Man Far From Home sets, Mysterio. It's exactly the same as the other ones. A really nice minifigure, but it's disappointing that we got him in every set. I understand there's not really many other villains in the film or anything, but it just feels, it, it just felt, I don't know, I just didn't really like that. But at the same time, a lovely minifigure, very happy to have it. And the final minifigure is Samuel Jackson. No, it's Nick Fury. But... Again, a very nice version of Nick Fury, I must say. I must say, I'm happy with the minifigures from this uh, set, actually. Very nice. But, yeah, a nice Nick Fury. I really like how... He, I love these sort of torso blend into the leg piece. I always like that. I've always liked that. And, yeah, just a very good uh, minifigure to have, I think. Very nice. Very nice inclusion as well. Not really relevant to the plot of the movie in terms of... I don't, I don't think he was there when this jet was there, but... You know, we move, and this is a nice Nick Fury to have. All right then, guys, we're looking at what I think are the drones. Well, they are the drones, as it's called, Stark Jet and the Drone Attack. Um, To be fair, I will see if I can get a picture up now. That's what the drones look like in the uh, film, and... From memory, as I haven't got a picture of it, them in front of me right now, from memory, I think these are quite accurate. Maybe not in colour, but actually how they look and how they're designed, I actually think they're quite spot on. I mean, obviously in size comparison to a minifigure, it's a bit of a, you know, one of those because uh, the drones are much smaller than humans in the film. But we're not going to complain about that. We're just going to complain. We're just going to say how nice they actually are and how good they look. 
really, really nice uh, drones. I'm very, very, very happy with these. Look good, stud shooters on all of them. So in conclusion, really nice uh, drones. Yeah, very good. Right, now we're gonna get into the meat and potatoes of the build. Okay guys, as you can see, this is the Stark jet. Now, a lot of people when this was released, for the money it cost, moaned about this set. I'm not gonna moan about this set. I think this set is brilliant. And this is huge. You don't, I don't think you guys actually have a concept of how big this set actually is, how big this plane build is. It's big. Um, a lot of people were moaning about the price and how much it costs for this set. It's worth it. I'm telling you, it's worth it. It's really, really decently done as well. And it's got a lot of playability, which I will go on to show you in a second. But I don't think this set deserves the hate it gets. I don't know why it gets the hate that it does. I get it, maybe you want a bit more than one big build, but as you've seen in my previous reviews about the Avengers Compound Tower, that's, you know, that's a waste of money. This is good value for money. Okay guys, so I'm actually holding the, the jet right now. I'm trying to keep it in shot, but if you can sort of see, this is the general look of the jet. Sleek, that's what I will say about it, sleek. Very nicely designed. And if I remember correctly, I did build this a while ago, but if I remember correctly, it was a good, fun build. Really enjoyable. Lovely stickers as well. Obviously, everyone, including myself, uh, prefers uh, printed bricks. But, you know, I'm not going to complain too much about stickers. Okay? But, yeah, as you can see at the back here, we've obviously got some flexibility with these. These are on these, uh, I don't know the technically correct term for them, but the clicker joints i don't know but yeah both of these come up and down as you can see so you can have them all the way in you can have them all the way out i like them at sort of an angle just a personal preference these don't uh come off but they look like they do but they don't they don't move obviously you've got stud shooters on either side now if i flip it over and i show you the underside i actually like this as a little touch i love these i think they're meant to be sensors or Jets that sort of keep the jet itself hovering. I really like that feature. I think that's a nice attention to detail. Okay, guys, I'm going to take you in for a look at the inside now. Okay, guys, this is the interior of the Stark jet. Um, as you can see, again, a lot of stickers. So maybe that is what people were moaning about. But from the inside, I think this is a, one of the better designed... Uh, four wide compo uh, compartments for minifigures to sit in because obviously when you build four wide you can only sit one minifigure slap bang in the middle of that but here it actually works quite well you can fit three people in back to back as you see you've got the uh, seating area there as well and then if you come back here another seating area that is a web for a feature that I will show you afterwards but if you didn't realise this whole thing lifts up when I was trying to undo it now, I was trying to take this bit off, but literally the whole thing lifts up. I love that, and it looks so sleek along here as well. It's a really, really nice, nice interior of a plane. And moving on to the back, I, I can't remember exactly what these are meant to be, but <laughs> they are in there at the back, and uh, that's all I've got to say on the matter because I can't remember exactly what they're meant to be. Okay, guys, I'll show you the other feature now. Okay, guys, as you can probably see, there's a button here. Now, you can pull this. It doesn't go any higher, but when you press it, something does happen. Now, I'm going to try and get a camera angle to show you what happens. Two seconds. Okay, guys, I'm hoping this will work, but if I press the button, there he comes. Spider-Man comes out. That is a great play feature. I know it's featured a lot in uh i know it's featured a lot in uh like jet and sort of yeah jet builds and stuff but i actually really like it i think it's a nice feature so in summary guys i want to let you know that this set costs 55 pounds in england and it still retails for around 55 pounds on ebay and amazon which is a bit disappointing that we haven't seen a price drop yet but i'm sure it's been on offer a lot of times do i think it's worth 55 pounds 
I'm going to come down on the side of yes, I do think it's worth £55. This jet is massive, okay? These minifigures, while Spider-Man and Mysterio are quite common, they're all quite common, Happy's not, but he's not going to be worth much. But I'm not buying this for the minifigures. I'm actually buying it for the build. I took a chance with it and I didn't realise how big it was going to be. And because this is what happens when you listen to negative reviews, you get something and you're surprised by how good it is because you thought it would be terrible. Well, this isn't terrible. This is very good. And I would advise people that like jet builds definitely get it. People that are collecting Marvel, obviously you want to get this set. Definitely get this set. Um, but in general, I would advise that just Lego collectors in general to get this. Even if you can break it down and reuse it, there's a ton of white there. And uh, yeah, I think it's really value for money. I really, really do. Okay, guys, that was the review of Le Lego set number 76130, Stark Jet and the Drone Attack from Lego Marvel, Spider-Man Far From Home line. One of only three sets from that line. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please smash the like button and please subscribe and comment if you could. That would be greatly appreciated. Also, please check out my Instagram. I post daily on there and that's at lego underscore marvel 2. But you can find it all, all my links in the description as well. Thank you for watching as always. I'm going to try and upload every day from now on because I feel like it's the time to do it as uh, we're back in lockdown, which is such a joy. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye.